Okay, let's give this a second try. Um, hi guys, we're gonna, we are going to make a loader today. Um, I've already cheated and I've already wrote down everything and drawn everything. Uh, drawn everything. Um, what you need, uh, what this does is a mixed uh, movie clip stop, lets everything load uh, while the user sees something, sees something physical that it's loading, and uh, it'll finish loading after the at the end of it. Uh, what it is is that uh, on my first frame, I have this movie clip here that I'll explain a little bit. And on my second frame, I have the rest of the movie, which is just a picture so that uh, the, far, uh, the file gets a little lar larger than it normally is. Um, on my first frame, I have two things. My loader, which is just a random text. I just put that there for the looks. And this little uh, line over here. I've named this instant loading. Very important keep track of all your names and uh, this other uh, inside low inside this movie clip we have this it has uh, three frames to it first frame is a border that's just for uh, aesthetics just like uh, so that the border is always visible my second frame and third frame are a masking frame a masking frame um, is actually a pretty complicated one. Uh, you have to describe uh, how to work it. Uh, in order to make a mask though, you can just uh, make a layer and then uh, select that again and then press on mask and it'll make the corresponding bottom one into a mask. You want to add more layers to it. Let's say insert layer. See that layer? You just want to make it part of this mask. You bring it down until uh, that black line there that black uh, circle is under it as opposed to being on on the other side of it. That'll make it a part of a part of the mask or you can just drag it to the next one and just so on like that. I'm gonna delete these two. And, oh and by default when you create a mask it does lock it up just so that you don't mess it up. Alright so and here's what I have. I have another drawing, it's just the uh, fillings of the, my original border and I've just uh, separated it to put them in two different frames and uh, put them up like that. And the uh, explanation for the mask itself, uh, my, the layer that's covering my mask is another movie clip. This is a movie clip with the name Masking. Also remember this because we have to use it in our script. And all it is is just uh, another box that is justified to the center. So if this is the center of our uh, movie clip, I have justified it all the way to the edge, but in the middle. Uh, we need that because of uh, the script that we're gonna we have to use for this. Um, the way the mask works, if it's a uh, if the mask itself is 100% black, it'll show everything. If it's white, it will not show anything. Um, also, if it's uh, if it's not covering it, it won't show it as well. Um, you can make a, the way mask works is it works in the gray scale. So uh, if it's like if you have a like 50-50 gray, like half white, half black combination, you have it at uh, you'll have your layers below show halfway through. So uh, it it has a couple of effects that you just have to practice with and uh, get a feel for yourself. So another check we named this loader and the one inside of it, the black box inside black box inside of it, masking. Okay, so we have to go back to our first frame. I have this uh, layer one script for that. Now, in my layer one, I have the very simple things, just the text and a load bar, just because I wanted to load as fast as possible. And I've also told it to stop. Now this stops everything and lets uh, the rest of the movie clip load. And here's how we, the actual loader part works. So. As I said, as soon as uh, loading is inside the frame, to open up a new function. Um, when loading, in, uh, in, or, in order to make my load bar to look like it's moving forward, uh, I've actually, uh, I'm actually going to make the little mask that I put there go from 0% to 100% on, uh, on its X axis. And I do that with the X scale. Now, and the other thing is my uh, root get bytes total and get bytes uh, loaded. 
that's uh, these are two flash uh, or action script handles it literally as it sounds uh, this is the total bytes of the whole movie and this is the bytes that uh, the computer has uh, loaded so far and what I've done here is uh, I've divided the bytes loaded with the bytes total and I times it by 100 so that I get a I get a percentage out of it and uh, my X scale here is what uh, dictates how large my mask will be which is over here the other thing is to make the movie to actually move forward I have my if statement here which it says if uh, get, get bytes loaded equals to uh, total bytes go to the next frame simple and here's how we tested in uh, flash cs4 I'm not sure if it's the same for um, the previous versions but uh, what we can do is here uh, it's called simulate download and here's how we actually set it up on our download settings we get to choose how many how, what the rate of download and upload is let's say if I say 56 kilobyte and I go to my view again and I say simulate download I can also do that when I have my, to press control enter and this is different than testing a movie uh, we test our movie we get this panel in this panel, if you press Control Enter again, we're going to simulate download. So let's press Control Enter again and see how it's just loading, 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 loading. And it's going to load a little bit. It's going to load. It's going to load. Go to the end. Go to the end. Go to the end. Go to the end. And as soon as it makes it to the end, it's going to have a beautiful picture of me. Okay, so I hope uh, this script uh, helps you guys out. Oh, there's a couple of other things. Uh, you can also over here if you make it uh, get by total blah blah. Over here you make it equal half, so pretty much put it in brackets uh, divided by two or uh, whatever divided by three. Uh, like I don't know. So you want it to go 75% halfway. Uh, if you divide it by two, you can make the movie play when 50% of everything is loaded. Okay, well yeah. Oh right! If you make it go at halfway, it'll uh, it'll make the movie play at uh, halfway, and while the movie's playing, it'll be loading at the same time. Um, it's not it's recommended for like uh, small movies and stuff, but it's not a good thing when you have a when you have like a really large file or a slow connection going for the user and stuff. Um, if you do mess uh, mess around with this part, make sure to mess around with this part too to make it look like uh, the masking went all the way before the movie started and stuff. You can also have this on a movie clip, uh, almost the same except uh, instead of inter frame or whatever, you have an on clip event handler, uh, and instead of this, you have unloading loading whatever you have this dot on inter frame or on clip event whatever. Um, yeah, so I hope that this helps you guys out and. Uh, have fun with it.